Hey everyone, Illusionist Dave here. I've gotten back into the Photoshop. Actually, it's Gorilla Paint Shop Pro stuff. Uh, the last video I did uh, that pertained to this, no, uh, no, second to last video that I did that pertained to this was um, where I took Lindsay Lohan's photograph. And I, the whole point of the video was to show that, you know, glamour magazines glamorize celebrities and using those same techniques tabloid magazines will make celebrities look bad that's and I, I showed you an example of what a an amateur could do just in a matter of a few minutes without working very hard uh, and that was the Lindsay Lohan photograph where I made her look drunk or stoned and fat I like to think that I'm gotten better. I hope that I have. I've done another ed editing technique. This time I've taken a picture of Julia Roberts. Like I said, I didn't take the picture. I got it off the internet. But I grabbed the picture <laughs> and I made several changes to it. You know you always see these videos on uh, YouTube about how to remove wrinkles here's a twist this is how to add wrinkles so this is the this is the before picture and it's transforming into <gasps> Julia Roberts 40 years later this is the after picture now I want to go over a little bit of technique about what I did and so you know I don't have screen capture software and my computers like that had a 70 gig hard drive is almost filled up so the it's processing things a lot more slowly but look at the before and after and you can see what I've done first off I made a new layer and I made the blend mode color okay then I took my paintbrush and this is really neat you'll notice that you can do this on when you get the blend mode on color and this is in Corel Paint Shop Pro. And you take the paintbrush tool, just the regular paintbrush, and you make the color white, and you start filling in over those areas. That m gives it a gray tone, actually. So you can actually make full color photographs totally black and white that way by coloring the whole thing in with the white paintbrush tool. But in this case, what I did was I went around and did the hair only. So I gave her this very kind of gray, silvery hair. And that's exactly how I did the eyebrows and the hair. So the hair was really simple, actually. And I could have done it a little bit better. I, I'm not saying I'm a professional. I'm just telling you something that you can do. Then I took the burn brush and I put it down to about oh six size six or so uh, yeah about size six and I started burning these dark lines very carefully into the face and these lines are what the wrinkles are gonna be you want the wrinkles you're creating the wrinkles using the burn brush. So you hail or you you go around every area that you want a wrinkle on and just burn that area. Um but what you can do is go I did the forehead wrinkles. I did two or three there. I did the top of the nose kind of between the eyebrows you know a lot of people get wrinkles there the sides of the mouth area where we smile the smile lines I did the bottom lip kind of near the jaw area because as we move that skin that skin gets really loose and uh, wrinkled also the chin area the chin line gets deeper uh, a couple more on the sides of the face. The crow's feet was the big thing. We um, get crow's feet as we get older. 
and uh, those were the major lines. Smokers tend to get lines uh, from where they've puffed, and those lines appear right under the lips, and I did several of those. I exaggerated those a little bit. And as we get older, this has been said, I don't know if it's true or not, but they say that our ears and our nose keep growing. So, I made her nose subtly bigger. Well, maybe not even that subtly, but I made it bigger. And then I actually used the warp, well, I used the warp tool to do that. Then I used the warp tool to give her a broken nose. You can see she's kind of got, not a broken nose, but you can tell she's had a broken nose before. And that was also, you can see a big change from the original photograph. So there's the before, there's the after. I went through this as quickly as I could. And I hope you enjoyed it. That's what I did. Use the burn brush. And then use the warp brush, actually. Use the warp brush, the uh, contract tool. Go right over those lines again, and it makes them a little bit finer. Then soften it because that will make the lines more realistic that's how I did it if you got any questions if you want to see any more of this stuff let me know my last video got 400,000 views at this point and it's only going up so I'm excited uh, hopefully we can break that record hopefully this will get that many alright I'm out this was Illusionist Dave, and I thank you for the listen. And if you've got any questions, just uh, email me or leave me a comment. Haters are not welcome, though.